वेलकम बैक यूर वॉचिंग द बिग स्टोरी ब्रेकिंग न्यूज दैट्स कमिंग इन इन द अडानी हिंडनबर्ग केस इज इन द टॉप कोर्ट से बी सिक्स सिक्स मंथ टाइम फॉर कंप्लीटिंग द प्रोब सॉलिसिटर जनरल से बी है सेट से बी एस फाइल एन एप्लीकेशन सीकिंग सिक्स मोर मंथ टाइम फॉर कंप्लीटिंग प्रोब लेट्स लिसन इन टू द लेटेस्ट बाय माई कलीग आकांक्षा All right so what we know so far is that um it is of course the hearing is under way what we know so far is that uh, the solicitor general is reading out the last hearing's order what we can tell you legally speaking is that he has said um the remit of the supreme court appointed committee headed by justice am sapre has said to provide an overall assessment of the situation including the relevant casual so factors let's listen to, to the latest uh, report the stock price manipulation by adani group and lapses in the regulatory uh, disclosure uh, uh, they were asked to submit the report in two months after which they approached the court again stating that uh, because of the complexity of the matter they would need another six months and that is why the particular that particular plea of sebi is being heard right now now remember in total there are four petitions uh, that that have been filed uh, in relation with the adani hindenburg rao one is of ml uh, uh, ml sharma the, uh, uh, the other is of of uh, congress leader all of them are either seeking fair probe or probe against uh, the us based firm so all of these will be heard by the supreme court today it is very crucial hearing all of these bunch of petitions will be heard uh, regarding uh, the hindenburg report but most important will remain the sebi application in which uh, they are seeking extension of time to investigate and uh, to submit that report uh, as i had uh, mentioned before this hearing assumes a lot of importance because this is coming days after interim report was filed by the six member committee was for, uh, formed by the supreme court on march 2nd they have already submitted the right that is of course uh, akanksha getting us the latest but bavatosh also joins me on the broadcast over the phone lines bavatosh good afternoon give us more context into this we do understand that they've asked for more time to complete the probe but legally speaking what are we looking at right now Well, uh, the solicitor general, in fact, uh, is uh, informing uh, the Supreme Court as to uh, why uh, the SEBI has asked for six more uh, months of time uh, because they have to still uh, uh, complete its investigation. Remember, uh, the time limit that was given by the Supreme Court was two months, and uh, Supreme Court has now, uh, in fact, in a uh, hearing, has said that uh, suggest uh, to solicitor general. It has said. Uh, said that suggest ways to review improve and strengthen the regu uh, regulatory uh, regulatory mechanism in financial sector to protect uh, to protect the investor interest and ensure that it does not become vic victim to volatility uh, and which was witnessed following the release of the report before as soon as this report was made public uh, there was uh, in fact a major crash uh, in the stock market and in fact that in fact led to uh, the, this uh, this uh, investigation by sebi and also uh, a need for uh, as you a need for for an independent investigation of prashant bhushan senior advocate has also said that sebi He was in this uh, investigating some of these transaction as far as the uh, way back in 2016 which is more than 6 years ago now what uh, prashant bhushan is saying that this is something not new this was going way back in 2016 and why sib is now asking for more time uh, for uh, for the time limit of 6 months and sib is a partner of one international corporation organization and under the treaty of this organization sib is governing body and tax seven countries are in fact under investigation i remember when hin uh, work had in fact uh, came out with the report and made this report public there was in fact uh, a lot of controversy not only political but also the fact that uh, uh, adani stocks uh, uh, took beating uh, in uh, in india and this in fact led to crash of market uh, at at the stock market and uh, that in fact led to supreme court asking more for six more months to complete this uh, they had said that uh, because of the complexity of the issue it would have taken them 15 months to complete this probe but in this situation uh, 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 they will uh, complete it in six months but now the chief justice of india has gone uh, ahead and said that they will not allow this they will not give sebi six months time that's a lot of time and they will only give two months so it remains to be seen of uh, uh, starting today they will have uh, two more months to complete the entire investigation related to stock manipulation uh, and also lapses in regulatory disclosure so this is what is coming from the supreme court right now it has said that it will not allow safe
सिक्स मोर मंथ्स टू कंडक्ट दिस प्रोब All right. So that is, of course, the latest in terms. What we can tell you, what the CJI has said to SEBI is that let there be some alacrity in completing the probe. Like my colleague Akanksha was pointing out, that the CJI has said that they will not give six months, but two months to complete the probe. Um, just talking about um, the legal developments that has come previously on this, when the solicitor, solicitor general also said, um, you know, yes, going on to read that to suggest time, measures to strengthen right, investor last awareness. Last time, when SEBI had sought extension Akanksha of time, more, more time to. to uh, probe this matter they had come out and said that this is a delay tactic now it remains to be seen when cji has said that it will not allow them to uh, take 6 months time but only 2 months time what uh, the opposition parties have to say but the fact remains is that uh, more time was sought by sebi but uh, it will not be allowed by the supreme court remember on march 2nd a six member committee was formed and sebi was also asked to uh, probe this matter submit their report but the six member committee has already submitted their interim report in a sealed cover uh, the discussion will also be held in the uh, supreme court uh, on the report that has been uh, submitted in the sealed cover All right, that's my colleague Akanksha getting us the latest as to what are the legal proceedings that are uh, underway as far as this case is concerned. Back to Akanksha to get us the latest. The committee was formed. They were asked to submit their report. They uh, submitted this interim report few days back in a sealed cover. So it is likely uh, that that could also be discussed in the court today. But the most important application that has been taken up today is that of the SEBI, uh, where they have sought extension of time. In that, we saw how CJI has now said that uh, it will not allow six months time, but only two months time. Uh, time. So it remains to be seen what SEBI has uh, to say on this and what opposition. also has to say on this because as you also mentioned that last time around they had called this delay tactics that more and more time is being sought uh, by sebi and they uh, had called it a delay tactic it remains to be seen what more arguments uh, uh, go on in supreme court that is of course uh, akanksha my colleague getting us the latest on that remember what the cji has said what is important to note here is uh, that they've gone on to tell sebi that they let there be some alacrity in completing the probe the cji has also gone on to tell sebi that they will give them only 2 months and not 6 months now earlier solicitor general tushar mehta had told the supreme court that the panel and uh, sebi to suggest ways to re- review improve and strengthen the regulatory mechanism in financial sector to protect investor interests and ensure that it does not become victim to volatility which was witnessed following the release of the hindenburg report the supreme court had said a robust stable mechanism required to be evolved so these because the previous legal developments that were coming in but like my colleague uh, akanksha was pointing out the latest on this what is important to note here is that the cgi to the sebi has said let there be some alacrity in completing the probe and also talking about uh, the months it is noted two months but not six will be given to them in fact earlier um, illegally speaking the other developments that did take place as far as this hearing is concerned is that the remit of the supreme court appointed committee headed by justice am sapre um, went on to make pertaining points to suggest to med- to uh, to strengthen investor awareness to investigate whether there has been a regulatory failure in dealing with the alleged contravention of laws pertaining to the securities market in relation to the adani group or other companies and to suggest measures to strengthen the statutory or the regulatory framework and secure compliance with the existing framework for the protection of investors these are of course all the legal developments that is coming in my colleague akank shah tells us more that wherever the case comes up in the supreme court the markets become volatile now also remember in parliament uh, earlier this year when the budget session was going on no proceeding was allowed to happen because adani uh, the adani matter the adani rao uh, uh, the, uh, the opposition parties had raked up this matter so this is what cji has also uh, mentioned but the point remains that whether or not sab will get extension of 6 month more uh, to probe the matter to some the report is something that we'll have to see because clearly cgi has uh, uh, said that they will not allow this they will only give two months time all right that's of course the latest that my colleague akanksha is getting us in, as far as the legal developments are concerned of this case now remember 
the top court on February 17th. If you were to just uh, reflect back into what has happened so far, I had rejected the name suggested by the union government as members of the committee and announced the formation of its own expert committee. Now, uh, these are, of course, previous legal developments that had happened. But Sevi to the Supreme Court on April 2nd and April 26th. We'll tell you more on that, but my colleague Akanksha reports on the latest. Of the stock market to extend six months, time may not be appropriate. We'll extend the time for three months because they have a point in saying that Sevi was already investigating. Uh, they, are, uh, they will be placing the order around 14th of, uh, of August, uh, put together a team, let there be. Uh, so this is what CJ has said, that they will not allow six months time to Sevi uh, to probe this matter. They will only allow time uh, uh, till uh, uh, three months. That is, the next date of hearing could be on um, uh, August 14th. So the application of All right. What we're also picking up so far, as far as the legal developments is concerned, is that the CJA has slammed the petitioner, going on to state that this shows failure of uh, SEBI is what the petitioner said. So the CJA has said, we've asked the committee to inquire if there's any regulatory failure. And how can you say that? Um, the CJA also going on to make pertinent remarks saying, don't just stand up and levy allegations against the regulator. CJ also saying that we've asked the committee to ver uh, verify whether there's any regulatory failure. Uh, the petitioner has said that there's been a failure by regulatory authority. The CV um, and uh, CJ are going on to question. We've asked the committee to inquire the same. Um, don't just stand up and level allegations against uh, the regulator. In fact, saying that whatever you argue here affects the volatility of the stock market to now extend six months time may not be appropriate and we'll extend the time for three months because they have a point in saying that SEBI was already investigating. So that is, of course, the big takeaway from the legal development as far as this case is concerned, like my colleague Akanksha was also pointing out, um, we'll place the matter around 14th of August. These are the legal developments that are coming in. But what the court has also gone on to state is that there has to be some alacrity in completing the investigation, put together a team, and let there be some alacrity. So that is the big development that is coming in. What we can tell you is that um, the CJ has slammed the petitioner in terms of what is... Uh, currently underway. We also understand that the Supreme Court has adjourned the hearing to Monday, May 15th and uh, and I quote, we will hear further on Monday and pass orders on how much time to be given to SEBI. So that's the big development that's coming in um, as far as the hearing is concerned. What we can tell you is that the Supreme Court has adjourned the hearing to Monday, that is May 15th and going on to state that they will hear further on Monday and pass orders on how much time has to be given to SEBI. So that is the big development that's coming in. Remember, just the previous um, legal arguments that have also happened between the petitioner and, of course, the top court is that the petitioner went on to say that this shows the failure of SEBI, whereas the CJI said, um, and making pertaining remarks, saying that they've asked the committee to inquire if there's any regulatory failure. And uh, you can't just stand up and... Uh, there were allegations against the regulator. They've asked the committee to verify if there's any regulatory failure. And whatever you argue, that is, of course, in terms of the petitioner, it affects the volatility of the stock market. Um, and, of course, talking about the latest that's coming in is that the Supreme Court has adjourned the hearing to Monday, May 15th. And uh, the Supreme Court also going on to say that they will hear further on Monday and pass orders on how much time uh, has to be given to SEBI. All right, but also understanding that we have uh, a reaction coming in from Mauritius uh, finance minister in the parliament saying that the Hindenburg report claiming that they are shell companies in Mauritius is fake. Let's listen into that reaction. I'm informed by the Financial Services Commission that it has taken note of the contents of the report published by Hindenburg Research in January 2023 as well as other information pertaining to this matter, wherein a specific reference has been made to inter alia, creation of offshore shell companies in Mauritius, the UAE, and the Caribbean islands. Mr. Speaker, sir, at the outset, I wish to inform the House 
that the allegations of the presence of shell companies in Mauritius are false and baseless. According to the law, shell companies are not allowed in Mauritius. All global business companies licensed by the Financial Services Commission have to meet substance requirements on an ongoing basis as per Section 21 of the Financial Services Act and are being strictly adhered, monitored by the Commission. My colleague Harish joins me on the broadcast over the phone lines. Harish, good afternoon. Um, significant development that's coming in. Talk to us about what the top court has said as far as this case is concerned because we also understand um, that now they've been given a time limit of three months and not six. In fact, a final decision regarding how much more time the SEBI will be getting uh, the, to file the probe report will be known only on Monday. Supreme Court has uh, now simply merely adjourned the matter till May 15th and has said that an order pertaining to the SEBI seeking more time will be taken on Monday and orders will be passed. Remember, Supreme Court was hearing PIL which thought probe into Adani Hindenburg store crash row. Supreme Court has uh, on March 3 ordered. Constitution of the Six Member Expert Committee, headed by retired Supreme Court Judge A.M. Sapai, to look into the uh, stock crash issue and uh, fraud allegations. Uh, in fact, uh, so Chief Justice also said that a uh, uh, sealed cover report has been filed by the Supreme Court Committee, which will be discussed on Monday. Meanwhile, Supreme Court has slammed petitioner who had sought probe, saying that when the petitioner said that this shows failure of SEBI, Chief Justice said, we have asked the committee to inquire if there is any regulatory failure. How can you say that there is a regulatory failure? Chief Justice said, don't just stand up and leave any allegations against the regulator. Chief Justice said, we have asked the committee to verify whether there is any regulatory failure. Petitioner said there has been a failure by regulatory authority the SEBI. Uh, Chief Judge said we have asked the committee to inquire if there is any regulatory failure. How can you say that? Don't just stand up and levy allegations. We have asked the committee to verify whether there is any regulatory failure. And the Supreme Court has asked SEBI and Supreme Court committee to uh, suggest ways to review, improve and strengthen the regulatory mechanism in the financial sector to protect investor interests and ensure it does not become victim to volatility which was witnessed following the release of the Hindenburg report. Uh, Supreme Court has said the robust stable mechanism required to be evolved and uh, now that uh, the Supreme Court uh, committee led by Justice A.M. Sapre has filed a report, that report will be discussed in the court on Monday. At the same time, the uh, uh, Supreme Court will also take a decision as to how much more time should be given to SEBI uh, to file the report. Back to you. Right, Harish, I have to interject yeah. you there, but thank you very much for getting us the